What's up guys, Cheese Man Jay here, back with another video. This time it's not a vlog, as requested, it's time for the shoe collection. Uh, I'm not gonna go in any particular order, but maybe from like most worn to least worn, just cause of like the niceness of them. So let's start with the beaters. Air Max 1s. As you can see, these have been through a lot. I was wearing these all summer, working hard, selling cheese, partying. <laughs> As you could tell, these been these been through it. Uh pretty comfy shoe. Honestly, out of the the comfiness, I'd rate it like a like an 8. 8. Uh, another pair of everyday Nikes. Nike, sorry, got the Vapor Max. I always wanted a pair of Vapor Max. The comfiness on these are like a four because of this. You you feel your foot is kind of on like a plank. So if you ever roll your ankle, it, you know what I mean? It goes with the shoe. And it's not the best shoe for to be wearing all day. Like if you're, if you're at a job that requires you to stand all day. But I just really like the colorway and I really like the bubbles. That's what made me buy these. Kind of regret it, but at the same time, I don't. Um, one last pair, classic Air Force One. These have also definitely been through it. Wear these to work a lot, wear these when I go out a lot, but they go with every single outfit ever. You gotta have a pair of these, you gotta. Black or white, always gotta have a pair of Air Forces in the collection. Uh, when it comes to hooping, my last pair was LeBron's. Now switch it up. My first pair of KDs. I don't even know what these are called. I got them on sale from Cebu Play SVP Sports. Shout out them. Great store if you need a cheap shoe, cheap clothes. Really good grip. Really good grip. Really comfy shoe. And really good ankle support. I highly, highly recommend getting a pair of mid KDs if you're a hooper, feel like a shooter. You know, you just feel it in your veins when you put these shoes on. I'm terrible at basketball, but it's okay. I play for the fun. Now a little outing shoe. Ooh, got the all suede beige New Balances. These are a little tight. It's a snug fit. I don't think I got them in the right size, but really, really good shoe. Really nice shoe, really comfy. Uh, great for going out. Wouldn't recommend working out in these, but I actually really like these. The suede on this, as my favorite YouTuber used to say, pre me yum. Mm, that sh mm, it's nice. I really like these. And now for one of my favorite, favorite silhouette of Jordan. I love, I absolutely love Jordan 12. I believe these are called the Wolf Grays or something. I don't know. I remember when I got these, then the first week I almost got jumped <laughs> for these, but thankfully they're still with me. Great shoe. Comfiness? Not really. Honestly, it's like a five. It's really hard to wear these all day, at least for me. Please, as you guys can see, all my shoes are kind of dirty. You're not a sneakerhead. If you buy shoes and just keep them in your closet, wear your goddamn shoes. This is a $200 shoe. Think I'm not going to wear it? Come on. You can see, yellowed up. Worn it out. Great shoes though. I love this colorway. Goes with a lot of outfits. Really easy to style. Now, back to back. Woo! Wee! Boy! I don't know if these are called the reverse flu games, but for the video's sake, let's just call them reverse flu games because flu games are all black here with the red here. And flu games are all leather. This is a suede. And as you can see, I know, I don't know. They, they, they are kind of, to me, they're a grail pair and I have abused them. But like I just said, wear your fucking shoes, okay? Don't be spending $500, $1,000 to not wear your shoes. What are you doing? This is a bit harder to style because it's red and white, uh, red and white, red and black. But I personally love these shoes. One of my favorite colors, I love red and it just, oh, look at that. Look at that, all my shoes are real, by the way. All of them are for Foot Locker or the Nike store. I don't do, you know what I mean? I don't play around with that. Mm, great shoe. Not the comfiest though. The comfiest Jordan ever, in my opinion, and this is just so far from experience, Jordan 4s. Those are really comfy. Uh, these, the South Beach 8s. 
also a little uncomfy uh these have been through as you can see i think i've had them for about four years now uh great shoe though i really like the coloring got the pink laces it came with turquoise lacing pink lacing and white lacing i come on you guys know i had to do the pink they are kind of a heavy shoe as you can see these are some thick boys some big boys but a comfiness like a five a uh, good leather see the 23 got that soft leather i really like this part the, the velcro to adjust your tightness but i think that's all for show and this is metal it's not plastic uh, sorry it looks metal but it's plastic but they did a really good job with these uh probably the last pair of eights i'm ever gonna get they're just too hard to wear all day long not and they're too tight i don't really like them but i like the silhouette you know it's a very nice silhouette maybe i just got the wrong size and last but not least the shoes i wore yesterday i got these from a sneaker store it's called p plus I'm not sure what that p stands for but the jordan one pink suede and as you can see these have been through it but i like to wear my shoes i like to show off my shoes these are really really comfy on the comfiness scale i give it an eight the suede's not premium, but it's, it's all right. It's kind of like a rough suede to it, which I like. Kind of gives us some difference. Really, really, really soft leather, though. Uh, great fit. Uh, really snug and comfy. It's a good shoe to wear all day, but not if you're going to be walking. Like, I did, like, a 4K walk in these, and my feet were hurting. So, these are good to show off, you know, wear at the function or whatever, go out. But as an everyday shoe this is what you want air max i believe these are 90s or ones please put in the comments which air max these are bleh, these are uh yeah so that's my shoe collection i really want to get a pair of twos a specific pair of twos called the dawn twos true blue threes literally any type of fours fives i'm not sure probably the fresh prince five those are my uh, the, sorry the bel air fives i love those uh carmine sixes uh pantone sevens uh the space jam nines uh the chicago tens and for 11s i don't know probably the closing ceremony lows those are my favorite favorite pair of shoes i i, I need that i need that in the collection 13s there's a lot of nice colors i used to have the bread 13s i might just get those again i really want those and i really really want to get a pair of 14s a lot of people say they look ugly but i've heard they're really comfy so you know what i mean I'm, I'm willing to take my chances but there's like an all the ferrari 14s that's what they are those are really nice so you know if you guys you know someone wants to get me a present you know what i mean i'll give you my email uh maybe my address probably not but yeah, send me a pair of shoes. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Unless you want. If you really want to give me a pair of shoes, uh, size 10. Uh, 10 uh, wait, wait. <laughs> size 10? Yeah, it was a size 10, 10 and a half. Uh, so on that note, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't already, Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share with your friends and family, share with the whole wide world. I'm trying to get big. In the comments, put your favorite shoe of my collection and what should my next shoe be to add to the collection. Thank you for watching. It's Cheese Man J, and I'm out.